Hello kindred spirits. Before we go on to the fun video, I do have a little serious announcement for those of you who are waiting for your online orders. Um, we had so many come in and in midweek when I was getting ready with the shipments, we did have a death in the immediate family and I had to stop work for a bit. Family's doing well and I just wanted to let you know and thank you so much for your patience. We are getting back on track here at the home and the video you're going to be seeing was pretty much filmed and edited prior to, but once again, we're doing well and I hope you enjoy the video. Do you remember last week I showed you some fake bats that I had here in the kitchen? Well, somebody was feeling left out and let me tell you, it was not a fake bat. Now there's a fairly long story behind that, but the bat is safe outside and all is good. But another thing from last week's video, I showed you these lanterns that I purchased and I talked about getting some bulbs for inside that were battery operated. Well, I found them and let me show you what they look like by putting this together and then also hanging them. Well, I promised I was going to share the bulb that I found to work in the onion lamps. And so far, I'm thrilled, but I haven't seen it all put together yet, meaning the light, because I did need to take it apart, one, to wash it, but two, these come in separate pieces. So to get this piece in for this particular light, it was a little difficult, so I took it apart. And this is not something that everybody's going to need to do to use these bulbs. Now I could literally put my hand in here and it's just hard to spin with this particular attachment, but these are old and they're fairly dirty even inside underneath. So since I'm using these indoors and even if I were using them outdoors, I'm going to take this apart and show you how I did it and just give them a good cleaning. But what's nice about doing this is I'm gonna be able to leave all of the wiring here. So if down the road I do want to use these outside, I'm not clipping these away and ruining this lamp. So I'm going to be able to use it inside for decorative purposes. It will be functional because I'll be able to put lights on in the tavern with this remote. And the, let me just put this down here, and for the charging, it's just here. So this unit stays in all the time. So if you wanted to put it into a lamp, you just screw that in and then it's a magnetic attachment. So I'm, I'm actually very thrilled with this. I don't know how they're, long they'll last. I will let you know, but we're going to start with this one. All right, so I'm going to put this aside. So for the onion lamp, it has just a, a lot of these little nuts here. And uh, the other one, knock on wood, they all came off without a hitch them in a little jar here or a little glass so that you don't lose them. I was hoping just to have to do one but for reasons of not wanting to break the glass I'm going to do both which I did need to take them both off actually. So if you find an onion lamp out and about thrifting, you may need to do this as well. Now this ring is on the outside, luckily it just attaches to that, but I can't take it off yet because it's inside. So putting it together, I have to remember to put that on before I put the glass. And I'll let you know I did that the first time and that's how I learned that. And these just pop off. Luckily they're all the same size and they go the same direction, so that was fairly easy for me to put back on. Okay, and now for the being very gentle part, I'm just going to lift these up on both ends. Ew, see, there's even 
old spider webs in here. I'm just gonna lift that up and just gently move this out there. So I'm getting rid of all that grossness. So I'm gonna go and wash these off and clean it up and then I'll put it together. Just trying to dry this out as well as possible. I could let it air dry and you know, first get off most of it and let it air dry, but I'm anxious to get this put together. Could have thrown this in the dishwasher, making sure nothing was around it. So when you, also, when you take anything apart, anything, try to keep in mind how things were before. You could take photographs. We've done that a lot of times. And case in point, this glass globe is not the same. So my longer section here does go on the bottom. So I just wanna make sure there's not a lot of any running water just to, so that it will spot. So I think we're good there. So before I put this in, I am going to put in the little attachment and I wanna make sure this is center also. That's it, this just screws in like a light bulb. Okay, easy, easy. And then that plops on. You wanna make sure that it's turned on before. So I don't know if this was on or off. So that was off. Okay, so now, so now that it is turned on. Um, actually, I'll slip that in afterwards so I can, don't break it putting this together. So what I did before, I forgot. You wanna make sure this ring goes on first. And then I'm very gently going to try to put this together using my hand kind of as a, a buffer in the back here. I hope I'm in frame. Sorry if I'm not. Let's get this in frame. There we go. So that's all together. And now I get to put on my little brackets. But this was so satisfying to find these thrifting and to make them work. And I actually already have the other one up in the tavern. I measured it out with this, adding this particular one as well. All right, so I've got my little brackets on here and this just once again clips on. Oh, I want to make sure that this little, it, this little um, brackets in the back. How easy is that? All right, and then um, now I'm ready to put on or put in the bulb. And this just swivels. I, that, the other bracket, um, actually let's reach here. This particular one had the bracket still in, so I did take it out because I need this hole to hang it. Oh boy, okay, so. And just gotta put this inside. Look at that. I mean, even alone, that looks great to me. All right, so I'm gonna go hang it in the tavern and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There we go. Now I'm supposed to be able to dim these and make them brighter. Oh, does that, that worked. Okay, here we go. I'm so pleased with that. Story I'll still make our Dolliver Story Tavern sign. Who knows, someday it might replace Roxy, but I have her for now. It kind of goes really well. Actually, it doesn't kind of go. It goes with our home's theme, with the maritime room off to one side, in the gentleman's English country estate in the library. I'm very pleased. Now, before I show you the prep work I did for the Scotch and Cigar event, for those wondering if Willow has a rough life here at Sugarwood, let me share. She does not have a rough Willow's life. Spoiled. I think you're totally spoiled. I'm getting ready to peel the potatoes for my potato salad. And let's see, I'm gonna just put some lights on here in the kitchen. What I like to do is I have two types of potatoes. I have some Yukon Gold, and you want, that's more of a waxy potato. And then I also have some Idaho potatoes because I personally like a potato salad that has a little bit of a creamy texture to it and not just because of the, the mayonnaise. I like some of the potato to kind of get a little mushy, just so that it's not 
hard potatoes. So I like to mix the two and it's a kind of the best of both worlds. And I also add a touch of vinegar. I don't have a recipe for this per se, but I will try to remember to at least make a little note of what I like to put in it. I'm also going to broil some bacon. That's the plan at least to have on the sides. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to peel the potatoes. I'm going to boil them because I love potato salad to sit no less than 24 hours. It just tastes so much better. I also sliced up some peppers and onions and mushrooms to saute later and I have them marinating in some zesty Italian dressing. I like to keep them marinating for about 24 hours as well before I saute them. I'm hoping I can show you a little after, but I just thought I would share some of the prep work I'm doing for the scotch and gar and just show you what I've done so far. We have our maple bourbon steak tips, steakhouse steak tips, some chicken, and Ben is out picking up a brisket right now, and I have to head out and get a couple more tins just to keep everything warm. So I'm going to be setting up the buffet here on the table. I'm going to back up here. I took away my long table here, which was actually the sofa table from the other room, but I took it away so that the guys can kind of walk here inside. So I'll have all the meats and then potato salad. We'll have pasta salad. We're going to have the stir fried veggies or the sauteed veggies. I have some cornbread right now. I'm just getting ready to dice up some onion just so I can put the little tiny dices inside of the pasta salad. I'm doing a little vegetable with it. I still have to make up a cheese and meat platter and put some nut nuts around. The sofa table that was in the middle of the kitchen, I thought I would just put it over here right now. It doesn't actually fit against the wall because it's too long. But I figured it would be a great place for them to grab a dish. I ended up wrapping up some utensils and then there's extra napkins here if I need them. I'm going to be cutting some lemons and putting them inside these little pitchers. I have a couple more that I'll put outside and inside and just for, for water. And then I have some forks and plates for dessert. I really, I did nothing here at the table. Um, some of the guys will probably sit here. And if you see down at the end, what do you see? Cushions. I have cushions. So I just brought some pillows in from the living room. So that's all they have. And right now the toppers still haven't been done yet. So as of right now, I still have Willow's little pad here. Um, I'll take it off once company arrives. But I have toppers coming by the exact same fabric and just so I can wash those and be, be done with that. Let's see here. One of, one of the guys, one of the founding members, um, just got a big promotion, so his wife just dropped off a cake. I'm gonna be the only female here. Um, I'll probably take my stepdaughter out for dinner and then we'll come back. And then the porch, nothing done here because if it rains, uh, we decided to leave it all open. We've got folding chairs, there's plastic chairs that we have set up. It looks like we had a little umbrella mishap. That's part of their little flag, their membership flag. <laughs> um, so I got to fix that. But we brought in, we brought the table from the center yard and put it here out back. I got to fix this. Let's see. Must have been a pretty good wind. Oops, I got to put this down. Yeah, you guys can watch. I'll just do it like this. Um, it's just heavier than I thought. Here we go. For some reason. Benjamin didn't bring over, there we go, he didn't bring over the uh, stand, but that's fine. I don't think the heavy winds will be happening again. So we brought this over also for some of the guys to sit outside, have a little tray here, I'll have some other drinks over here, and the Adirondack chairs. And I was definitely struggling about not having the gardens cleaned up, this and that, and Ben's like, they're not here to look at your garden, so. <laughs> They are what they are. You know, I, um, I, he put my mind at ease, so I'll get to these at one point. So let me 
take you in and I'll show you the bar, which is not completely set up yet either. But let's say I'm reading this and it says, aging since 2013, so cute. Not the scotch, the guys. Okay, so this club has been going on quite a while. Let's see. We still have some little piles to, to pick up. Ben brought, ben brought home some flowers. Um, let's see here. So, you know, once again, I got this room cleaned up. One thing we finally got one of um, one of the heirlooms of Ben's family there up on the top. I don't know whose it was or if somebody purchased it. I have no idea. So we finally got that hung. So in the tavern, we were going to set the, the alcohol up in the butler's pantry because they'd be so much closer. But I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> we built this to entertain. So we have some of the scotch bourbon uh, whiskeys and I think some, uh, let's see what else is coming. I forget. So we have some ice buckets ready. I've got some ice that I've been prepping. We have some ice balls that are in the freezer. Those will be set. I'm going to put some candles here. And then I know I did another video, but I might just make this as a one run video, um, one less editing. Two, I've, um, I just haven't had the time and I might share why later. But let's see, I'm going to turn on my lights. Now in this video, because they're LED, they're flashing. But in person, they're a nice, steady, warm light. And I'm so excited that these worked out. Now I put the whale sign up. It used to be on the porch. And her name is Roxy. And I know that because the artist wrote that on the back, that her name is Roxy. So down the road, I might make the Dolliver Story Tavern sign the same size as Roxy. I'm just going to shut these off to save the charge until the guys show up. And I don't know how long these are charged for. They came charged, so they have all different colors. And I'll be able to do them even for other holidays, different colors if I want. So I have, once again, i got to primp the bar just a little bit and put some other condiments out and uh, put out some bitters. And then I have some of our glassware from crystal to regular glass for anybody's choice. And then of course, if somebody wants wine or other things, they can help themselves to the other glasses up there. And let's see, dining room also ready for some overflow if they want to sit in here. And also the living room. So once again, if it rains, they're probably going to be taking over the whole downstairs. And my stepdaughter and I will either spend time upstairs or in the, um, our bedroom and watch TV and just hang out. And going through, I did a video just showing some of the befores. But once again, I, ha I have a reason why I'm doing it this way. Um, once again, I'll probably share down the road. But this is the guest bathroom. And if I showed a before, it's nothing, or if I don't show a before, it's nothing major other than when we took off some light switches, there's one here and one over here. Underneath was like um, lime green, apple green. So I just touched up the paint that was already done when we bought the house. Now it's a high gloss paint. We like the color. It is called soot. It's a, a black blue. I mean, really, really dark black blue. And I'm going to go in more so with a flat or an eggshell on the walls because the high sheen shows everything. But And I feel good because the house is really starting to get pulled together for then our other gathering. I'll be able to zhuzh up a few more things. But um, all in all, you know, it's it's... It's fine for all the guys. I just saw something over here I wanted to share with you. Maybe somebody can confirm this for me. I have a little collection I started of these dogs from England. And I saw it in a book and I wish I could find it because then I'd be able to reference back and share. I learned, and once again, I hope this is correct. 
I learned that these were actually made for place settings and it showed a table with these all around at the top of the plate, almost where the dessert forks and knives go, I mean forks and spoons go. So is it, anybody know about that? I'll find it again, it's here in my house. But I thought that was neat, I never knew that. So yeah, that's it. I will maybe do another update here in this video if I can get some filming done, but I was afraid if I didn't film right now, I'd be going, 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 and then maybe somebody would show up and I wouldn't get to film. So I'm gonna finish some prep work and then start putting everything out and everybody will be here in about an hour and a half. Well, I would say it was a success. I got home from a Mexican restaurant with my stepdaughter. We had a meal out. She got a virgin margarita. I might have had a real one. And I came home, meal was consumed. I packed up a bit. I sent my stepson home. Actually, he's still here. I just put a little cooler together for him. But I'm cleaning up so that once all the guys leave, I have nothing to do. I'm gonna make some coffee dishes are in the dishwasher and I would say it was a fun success. <laughs> I'll see you next week friends. Bye now.